Hello, hello, once again, thank you for tuning in. And if it's your first time here, my name is Chandra, and I hope this message blesses you or somebody out there. And today's topic is wisdom is the mind of God. So my father wants me to come here and tell his children that he desires to give them wisdom. And to tap to God's wisdom, we must diligently study his word meditate on the way, pray for wisdom, seek wisdom with all our heart and walk in spirit. We have to acknowledge that true wisdom comes from God and that Jesus Christ is the embodiment of wisdom. The Bible teaches us that fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, meaning that Christian, as Christians we have to have an own and respect for who God is and reverent trust in his word and his character and live accordingly. And to have wisdom is to have the ability to apply knowledge to everyday life. Wisdom is the mind of God. When King Solomon asked for wisdom, he wanted to have the mind of God. He wanted to rule his people with fairness and understanding. And because when one is walking with the fear of God, he is relying on God's wisdom in all matters of everyday life and making whatever changes needs to be made in the light of God's word. God gives his children wisdom and he wants them to function at the highest level or the highest capacity. Solomon asked for wisdom and God gave him wealth because wisdom attracts wealth and this still happens up to today. Wisdom opens doors and wisdom tells you how to tap it and wisdom gives you liberation. There's nobody in the Bible that was working for God or was used by God mightily and they were poor. All of them the wealthy. You can name them Joseph, Joseph, Jacob, Abraham, Solomon, all of them. They were wealthy men of God because the will of God is for all his children to be wealthy. And God wants to bring us, his children, to this place of wealthiness so that he can use us to the highest capacity so we can rely only on him no nothing else and god gives us wisdom not because of the books that we've read or the decrees that we have he just gave it because we choose to work and do his work or work for him and we all know that through christ i can do all things he knows everything. He's our Father in heaven and He lives within us. And wisdom also gives you ideas. And lack of money is a mindset. And poverty is a mindset. Poverty is limited thinking and limited revelation. People who deal with poverty do not have to deal with pressure really well. And they don't know God. And they don't have the relationship with our Father. Because these people, every time they face pressure, they want to escape, run away, or they want to quit. And in order for you to be able to accumulate wealth, you need to develop muscle in your brain. You have to face the problem, address it, pray about it, and face the fear, and trust in God all thy ways, not that our Father reigns. And most people in this world, especially Christians, they're mentally weak. They get offended easily, and offense, the thing is with offense, it creates insecurities. And it limits people and even limits the revelation they can get and with this they can't do anything but my father is not happy with that because when you get revelation it attracts money and wealth and children of God needs to learn to be multi-dimensional they need to learn to speak 
every language of the table they sit at. God wants us to think as solutions, think out of the box. But most of the Christians, they think that they can praise their way out of poverty, which doesn't work, because faith without works doesn't work. And my father doesn't want us to think that way. The book of James 1, 5 tells us that if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that giveth to all when liberally and abreadeth not, and it shall be given to him. People of God, wisdom is the mind of God. We get it, we get wisdom from our Father, and we get it by meditating on His Word, have a close relationship with Him, yearn and ask it from Him, and surely He shall give it to us if we ask with our sincere hearts. He knows everything. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He is everything, guys. He lives within us. He's the creator. He's the father of the universe. And wisdom is his mind. And I hope you've been blessed. And if you have, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. And God bless you. God bless you.